this is India. Through the fingers of women, we connect cultures. Embroidery from the snake charmers community, the Kal area, the quilts between India and Pakistan. Uh, this is a fantastic uh, exhibition at the Indian International Center, which ends today on 26 July. Uh, it's on this intriguing cast called the Kalbelias. We often hear them of them doing the snake dance, the Kalbelia dance with an exotic uh, black dress with silver linings and silver lacing, when that wasn't their original uh, dress. But what is so intriguing about this uh, particular project, the Kalvelia project, revival project, we have an, um, a very thought-provoking young artist, uh, Mother Nina, who got together and collected a lot of these shawls and uh, embroidery pieces from the border. And this is very important when we talk about the Indian partition. A lot of the people who are the nomadic tribes and the pastoralists they are the living heritage and the guardians of our borders. We talk about soldiers, but it is these pastoralists who are guardians of our borders, of our natural resources, and so much more. And how they replicate this and celebrate the idea of, Indian, uh, of human ingenuity. For example, Mother Nina's, Manat Nina's collection, he collected this particular quilt from Parmir. And we are un unable to decode this. So, this particular project, may I invite Mr. Madan Meena? Mr. Madan Meena um, started, uh, we come to another, we started here. Mm -hmm. Mr. Meena, um, so we started here, uh, he started this Calvaria project. Uh, when did you start this? It yeah, started after the first wave of COVID uh, when we were doing uh, the, this, uh, one of the survey actually. To map these communities across three states, Rajasthan, Gujarat, and Madhya Pradesh. So, how many subcasts do you have in these communities? Uh, the uh, survey was primarily aimed at eight different denotified tribes, and one of the uh, communities, Kalbelia, among them. But if we see Kalbelia, then there are many different subcasts within the Kalbelia community. For example, there is a section called Jogis, which are Nath Jogis. Then we have the Sapiras, we have Madaris, we have Salat who are stone grinders. Then mm -hmm. we have Bansford who make bamboo basketry. So it's a wide community actually. So it's a, it's a network of skills? Huh, I think that this is all network of skills. They, are, they have been described or they have been classified according to their different skills. Skills. Um, so uh, now Mr. Meena is working with six embroiders and we will just give you a small brief uh, of this. So here we have uh, what Mr. Meena has decoded uh, with the help of a madari and now madari is definitely is, uh, would madaris come under performing arts or they would be street and uh, pastoral performers they have been street, and street, animal street, trainers uh, they have been basically street entertainers uh, the madari community is known for keeping snakes also but as well as the monkeys and the bear also, the bear. Bear also. Mm -hmm. and even the python also python. Uh, that, that is also known for that. So this community which we helped in decoding this is, I found them in Gujarat. Uh, they are from Rajasthan originally, but they have been able to identify these different uh, applic this, uh, this uh, so, motives. So Bazu Band, which, are, which is armlet, mm -hmm. Sankhari, which is chain. Then you have uh, uh, Makki, which is corn. And mm -hmm. then you have uh, Kangra, which is the uh, lattice work on the buildings and threads and nakhulia, which is the nails. And here you have these wonderful um, pieces. When we come to um, how the contemporary uh, idioms are getting, uh, bringing the tradition into the contemporary. So being pastoralists, they have many, many, or they are people of the nature, right? So a lot of the embroidery is inspired by the nature. So for instance, they have oot, the camel. They have, um, you know, the akra. Now this is very interesting because it's, the, it's, a, it's a, a tree that has several medicinal qualities, but it's a neither 
eaten by the camel or the goat. It's the leaf of the akra which is in which they drink the milk and they get better nutrition. So this is the this is the uh, contemporary uh, look of a quilt where you have the camel and this one is uh, called the kacho. Kachpo, this is kachwa, a tortoise, a turtle. So the entire world, we are talking about climate change. Uh, how do we create an empathy for the planet Earth? What a better way than skill India through the hands of women.